everyone welcome back um, very quick video about putting these bearings in so what I've done so I've just given that a bit of clean with brake cleaner and a scouring pad the bearings you've probably seen this online already I'll show you the bearings have been in the freezer I reckon sorry I'm here I'll, I'll just hold this camera so just wait a sec um, bearings been in the freezer for maybe three hours right so that's my new bearing I'm going to show you I just put one in I'm hoping this is going to be Heat this up. Don't have to go mad. You can do it with a heat gun too. That's all you've got. Just use a heat gun. I've got this in, so I'll use this. It's a lot quicker. So now we grab our bearing, which you can see it's nice and cold. Bugger. No, I'll heat her up a bit more. The last one. The other one drops straight in. Of course. Let me see. What have I got? What have I got? I'm just going to see if I can tap it down. No. Nah. It is going, but. pull this one in okay now I've got to go and set up all me oh yeah I'll just pull it in that'll be right I hope all right I'm just going to um stop filming here for a sec right a quick update it was going in crooked so I've just put it on the ground I've got it to there but I'm going to have to push it in now so I'll just set it all up and I'll show you Okay, she's all set up. I just um, set you up here where you can see. It's just about in. Hang on, I've got to fix this little tripod up. Let me see. Let 
that'll do you. back one has got to be bigger than the bearing the front one has to be smaller but because this is still hot and the bearing is still cold it just pressed in really easy so I'll give you a look at that I'll just remove all this but yeah like I said the first one if you leave your bearings in overnight it's a lot better in the freezer um, and heat up your swing arm the first one just dropped in by hand I didn't have to do anything but for some reason the second one wanted to play hardball so okay there's the back and there's the front so all I've got to do is put the uh, circlip back in the snap ring whatever you want to call it and I shall attempt to do that, but I don't have much luck with these things. What I do with the other one is I'll put one side in first. And I don't know. I think that's all in. Yeah, as usual. I don't reckon this from what I can see the bearings in there and it can't go in any further but the way this thing's behaving my pliers are no good for these nah these are a pain man god they're a pain there you go there you go. I hate them. Anyway, it's in. And that's how you put a bearing in. That was pretty easy. You warm that up. Like I said, leave it overnight. If you freeze that overnight and warm that up, it'll drop in. You won't have to do anything. You won't have to knock it in like I did or anything. So if you don't have those special tools or anything, that's what you do to get them in. Anyway, like I said, quick video, so just please like, share and subscribe and um, I'll catch you when I reassemble all this. Next I'll be putting bushes in after I paint all this and reassembling the whole rear end. So that'll be part two. See you later.